Yes, students, we will start the first chapter of class 12 physics. The first chapter is electrostatics. This is also the first unit. In this first unit, the electric charge and Coulomb's law. The topic is the static charge and frictional electricity. In the ICM time, when one body rubs with the other, it acquires the property of attracting the others. There is some material umber. In Greek it is called electron. When rubbed with the wool, so it acquires the property of attracting the others. Not even these two materials, there are number of such materials, glass, silk, mica, ammonite, cat skin, sphar, lac, sulfur, bacalite, mica, etc. Experimentally, we can show you. Now take the two glass rods. The first glass rod is rubbed with the silk and suspended by a cotton thread. When another similar glass rod rubbed with the silk and taken towards. So you will find the rod first glass rod move away. Now in the second experiment, we will take the ammonite is a type of wood, rod, <coughs> ammonite rod, suspended by a cotton thread and another ammonite rod rubbed with the cat skin. So two ammonite rods rubbed with the cat skin when one rod is taken to work the second rod, so what happens? So the first rod get move away. So this shows that the light charges repel each other. In the third experiment, here we will take the glass rod and what is ammonite rod. The glass rod rubbed with the cell and suspended by a cotton thread and another ammonite rod rubbed with the cat skin and taken towards the first rod. So we will find this rod get attracted towards the ammonite rod. It means the two unlike charges attract each other when bringing closer. So we can say the glass rod is positively charged when rubbed with the silk. The silk ammonite rod rubbed with the silk acquires the negative charge. So when negative negative is taken towards, so they repel each other. Here, the one ammonite rod rubbed with the cat skin, so it is having negative charge, and the glass rod, which is having positive charge, rubbed with the silk, when bringing closer, so they attract each other. So, on the basis of these experiments, we can divide the electric charge into two categories. The first is positive charge and second is negative charge. Now the explanation.
electrification. The elect explanation of charging or electrification. So we'll explain on the basis of electron model. Every material is made of very small, fine, tiny particles called atoms. In the atom, there is a central core region which is positively charged, composed of neutrons, chargeless neutrons, and positively charged protons. And this center is called as nucleus. So this is positively charged nucleus and around this nucleus there are number of negatively charged particles called electrons revolve in different close orbits. These are the electrons revolving in different orbits. As the electrons close to the nucleus, they are tightly bound, while the electrons which are away from the nucleus are less tightly bound. Now the two materials when rubbed with one another, so what happens due to rubbing? some thermal excitation develop and this thermal or heat energy is given or taken by the electrons and they get excited and jump from one material to another. So as the electron jump from one atom of one material, so that atom become positive. The electron that is dislodged by one material onto the another material or onto the atom of another material, so that atom become negatively charged. So we can say that two materials become charged. One positively charged, one is negatively charged. These charges are steady, not in motion. So this is called static electricity or static charge or we can say the frictional electricity. Now the unit of electric charge. Unit of electric charge is Coulomb. It is Coulomb or represented by C. So this is the SI unit of electric charge. So this is the method in which the two bodies comes in contact when rubbing so the body become charged. Now one another method of charging the two bodies that is induction method. So it is electrification by induction method in this method 
method without making any contact between the bodies the body become charged now we'll take this charging by showing some experiment now take the two bodies or two materials they are separated by one another and these two bodies are mounted onto the wooden stand so these are the wooden stand these are the two connecting bodies in the connecting bodies there are sufficient positive and negative charges so these are the two bodies separated by one another now the two bodies bringing closer in contact so this is a and this is b so these are having positive and negative charge our electrons are moving randomly now in the third diagram now bringing a positively charged rod towards the first rod this is body a body b so what happens the whole positive charge of the two bodies or the system due to repulsion get move away and whole of the positive charge and whole of the negative charge due to attraction come closer and these wooden stand separated and the glass rod or positively charged rod is taken away so in the fourth diagram so these are the two bodies so the positive charge rod is taken away and the two bodies separated so the first body become negatively charged and second body become positively charged this is the another method that is called electrification by induction method the body will become charged now the next topic is coulomb's law